Yo, what's going on guys? Arshan here again, you're watching KTO. Hope you guys are all doing amazing, man. Especially the ones who come early to the videos and comment, like I really appreciate you guys. It's been officially like two months since I've been a New Yorker, a f***ing living on his own er. <laughs> I don't think I've had any time to just like chill and explore the city whatsoever. Every single day has just been go, go, go. It's literally this. I'm either spending all my time interviewing people or like, making dinner and paying my bills and shit like that. I will say every day is exciting. Like not a single day goes by where I don't have something to do on my checklist. Like this week alone, and I guess in this vlog, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna do this week, which consists of this. So today I got invited to link with one of my favorite new artists, Yapo JJ. I've been really listening to him because he's just so unique and non-generic, you know? He reminds me a lot of Saw Baby in the way that they're able to do like, like quirky new sounds, if that makes sense. So that's gonna be soon. Also the brand Subi actually hit me up today and they said that they wanna gift me some clothes in the Soho store. So I'm probably gonna get to that tonight. Then the next day, I'm gonna go do a legendary, and I mean legendary interview with, in my opinion, one of the best artists out there, Tizo Touchdown, a fan favorite. I know you guys will love that one. Well, I don't wanna jinx it, because whenever I say I'm gonna do an interview, like 70% of the time something goes wrong and it doesn't end up happening. I gotta stop announcing who I interview. There's always problems with that, because then people get hyped up and then if it doesn't happen or something goes wrong, like, looks bad on me. But yeah, Tizo is gonna be in town for Travis Scott's Utopia tour and they wanna do an interview. And then I could potentially be linking with, let's just say a, a big artist by the end of this week, which I'll see if I can vlog, but we'll see by the end of the week. But also stick around for the end of this vlog because I received so many freaking packages by you guys clothes, gifts, toys. There's gonna be a little haul at the end of this video where I show you all the stuff I got, I'll try it on. Um, so yeah, stick around. We're about to go to the Yapo JJ, about to go to the Yapo JJ show. Um, I think Netspen's gonna be there too, Xavier's so based. It's in this place called the Mercury Round. The Mercury Lounge. I haven't really had him in a vlog before and we're gonna do like a proper long form interview. But you know, I like to meet people in advance and um, just like catch a vibe, see what he's like. and. I think that'll make the bigger interview better. Uh, are you performing today as well? Yes, I didn't show you. Okay. And then Nat then went here too with Baby Boy. Yeah. Are you like super tight with like Nat's Ben Osama son? Like I'm definitely closer with Nat. But yeah. Ben Osama talks though. Like, like, yeah. yeah. I feel it. I feel like this is the year like I actually checked you out, but I feel like next year you're gonna be a lot bigger. Like, what's your plan? No, I, I feel don't know that. what that's going to look like. Look at her moving. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. What you, uh, what you been on today? Uh, nothing, man. I've been really chilling. Yeah. You know, making music. I've really been at the studio and shit. You're not even like from here. You're like all the way from Alabama. Yeah, Yeah, I'm from Bama. I really don't like being here, to yeah. be honest. It's a lot of people. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like a lot of people. I'm from a place kind of, I wouldn't say it's like as like quiet as yours. I'm from like a suburb in Canada. So I feel it, you know, it's like fun when it's like a peaceful area. Yeah, that's what I like. Like my career, I like being at the, I'm a homebody. So yeah. like, yeah, my career, that's it for real. That's all I need. There really ain't shit to do in Bama. Yeah. Bama, Alabama retirement state. It's funny cause like, I feel like you're filling this like void in rap right now where at least I think a lot of rappers are like comfortable with sounding like each other, you know? Mm -hmm. Like they still make good music, but mm -hmm. they're like comfortable with just sounding like someone else. But I feel like you, everything you do is so opposite of that. Unexpected and like unorthodox, right? Yeah, I feel you. Sometimes when I wake up, I wanna shoot my I feel like being different, like it's cool and shit, but I ain't never tried to be different. Like nigga be trying and shit. Like I ain't had to. I'm yeah. my mama. <laughs> I ain't never had to, so like, yeah. I don't know. It's just different. You ever make something where you're like, yo, like what the fuck did I just make? Like, this Hell yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'd be high as fuck just recording and shit and be like, damn, that shit ain't never dropping. <laughs> but yeah this like whole like wolf aesthetic because like you you have it on your covers yeah. and then you're like howling in your music yeah that wolf shit uh i'm fascinated with that like with wolves and shit but um you know the cover uh pluto it had a wolf on there you just gotta peep that shit that's what's so crazy the wolf always been there niggas just ain't seen it mm. until i put it like in front of the cover yeah but the wolf got a name and it's zur and zur he like nah i don't want to speak too much on that 
because I got some other shit coming, and okay. it's gonna tie it in. You've made music in this like uh, jerk sound, you could say, right? But at the same time, you've also like I remember you put out this shirt that was like not a jerk rapper. <laughs> bro, I made this shirt because niggas on my dick. Like, <laughs> bro, I, I do not care about this shit. Like, bro, it's music. I need to be making music, so I just made the shirts that some funny shit and the shit. Them bitches just went up. But nah, that jerk shit, that shit cool, but like, bro, it's 2023, finna be 2024. <laughs> we ain't worried about this shit, bro. Is that like a sound that you're not you're like gonna make more like on next year? Or? No. Yeah. Nah. For one, this shit been burnt out. Mm. Like, this shit been burnt out. And then it's like, I don't know. I don't have fun doing it no more. Mm. And I've been stopped. Like, I got hard ass songs, like, on some jerk type shit, like, for the fans I'll drop, but nah, I ain't fucking with this shit. I checked your older music, it's more so like, some trap shit. Man. Yeah, fact. I even saw this video. It was saying that like you used to make music like Raul Rodriguez. <laughs> man, what the fuck? <laughs> you know which video I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I know it's what you're talking yeah. about, bro. My little brother, man, he be sending me all type of shit. My yes. whole family, bro. Yeah. My mom, she just got done liking my whole Instagram story <laughs> and shit. So yeah. I mean, that's, be be that's better than your mom not supporting though, you know? Yeah, shout out my dudes. In that video, they said like so many things. I was like, is this even true? Like, cause one of the things they were like, oh, he used to like know Yeet back in the day. Yeah, Yeet used to follow me and all type of shit. My okay. fans, they know. But yeah. yeah, shout out Yeet. Yeah, shout out Yeet. I mean, you're, you're kind of like part of this select class right now. It's like you, Xavier, Netspan. Yeah, like, they're my fucking boys. Yeah. <laughs> to my guys. Like, how do you know them? Do you just internet shit? Yeah, yeah. Most of these niggas be like weird though. Them niggas like. Them niggas, they're my nigga, bro. Zave, how I met Zave, goddamn, was really on some shit. I was on YouTube, bro, and this nigga video just popped up. Like, I forgot what video it was, but it just popped up on some next up type shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. I never heard no shit like this. I never seen no shit like this. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this? And the crazy thing is, right when I said that, the nigga followed me on Instagram. I swear to God. Like, did you follow him first? Nah, I think he just followed me. Oh, that's Did you, you follow me, right? Yeah. I confirm it. No cap. Right. No cap. <laughs> you you feel? What was the first song? So shit, I, I, I tapped in with Bird, man. Yeah. We locked in. What about uh, you and Net? Uh, Net, he really put me on that. Zay put me on that. Mm. And then, you feel me? I was really pushing that. Then me and Net, we made some shit. Mm. Yeah, so it's just real organic. Who do you listen to that's like not in this generation at all? Because I hear that you like very old music, you know? Uh, you know, the Osley Brothers. My favorite song from them, Choosy Lover. I've really been bumping that. Um, the BG from Cash Money, like old ass. Um, That's so random. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> Freddie Mercury, bro. Okay. Bohemian Rhapsody, that shit goes stupid. Damn, okay. I fuck with uh, Tracy Chapman. Mm. Fast Car, that's my favorite song. You get a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. The average person. They don't even, you feel me? They, they don't even, even know who that is. You, you feel know? me? Yeah. How old are you, by the way? Uh, 20. Okay, yeah. I feel like people your age don't even know who half those people are. But who's like some artists that, that you think are next up as well that, that you're listening to? When I think of next up, I think of like people that's lower than me, if that makes sense, or like yeah. on the come up behind me type shit. Mm -hmm. So it's a nigga named Mac. Andretti? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Andretti. Mm -hmm. Guy, Andretti Mac. He a nigga, but he been rapping. Yeah. just need his credit mm. so shout out Andretti he won for sure well I'm curious because I know like at one point obviously like you didn't get views and like people yeah. didn't care but that's why like I don't give a fuck about views and shit now because mm. I ain't do that shit back then for views I swear to god I was making music for like my homeboys like mm. bro we need some music to smoke to all right I'm gonna make some shit that's mm. what I did and everybody else just fuck with it. You gotta be consistent. Like, niggas say be consistent, but don't be like specific. Like, be consistent on every level though. Like, not just music, how you promote the music, how you goddamn drop it, how you market it. You gotta be consistent every aspect. So, mm. shit, consistency really. Kind of insane, cause like I left to go to the Subi store and then I didn't really think much what happened at the, at the Yapa JJ show, but holy, it's like the show got shut down, kids stole metal detectors, there was a riot, him, that spend, or like both performing on a car. Yeah, uh, I missed that, but 
It's all good. All right, guys. So I just got word a couple hours ago that we are doing the Tizo touchdown interview today. Just in case, I already did prep a huge list of questions. So that's not a problem. I'm really curious about his life. So it's going to be easy. But I think what I'm going to do now, since there's a couple hours left, is I'm going to go listen to his album like two times over just to really get in the zone. And yeah, I'm really wondering like, what outfit is he going to wear? <laughs> that's like the main thing. Is he going to wear spikes? Like what, what crazy shit is he going to wear? And also, is he a nice person? From the looks of it, he seems like a really, really kind dude but i will go do the interview tonight and let you guys know so we got there to the record label office and tizo actually really wanted to shoot it in the office portion specifically um you guys know me i'm not like really into things like that i really need things to be really artistic but you know tizo is a very creative guy i trust him i trust his vision and he was like nah, nah i really think this makes sense bro so uh there we did it mm -hmm. yeah. oh there my shot no, 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 keep him, keep him in. Yeah, it's natural. I wanted it as natural as, that's how they left it. Oh, also like, look at that outfit, bro. Gloves, the boots, like spikes. Yeah, def definitely a crazy outfit. But Tizo, very, very nice dude. Not gonna lie, this interview is for sure gonna inspire you. And there's one portion of it you're gonna be so surprised by because he really, really is a KTO fan. Like he talks about the video where I wanted to quit and I'm just like, wait, what? Like you, you watch this? All right, y'all, I'm back home. And I remember when I said, I'm gonna be linking a big artist potentially by the end of this week. Well, it's actually gonna be tonight because <laughs> I just got texted an address to a studio that Joey Badass is gonna be at because he wants to link and I'm not sure what this is about, but it's Joey Badass, so I'm gonna go. So yeah, let's go. All right, guys, just got to the studio. Probably won't pull out the camera. I just don't want to be that guy in front of Joey, you know? Yeah, guys, obviously I can't be playing the actual audio um, and I'll explain to you in a sec why. But here's Joey, we're just vibing out. Um, yeah, no, it's kind of surreal that this even happened, but I'll explain to you right now. Bro, I just heard the entire album, the next Joey Badass album. He played me the entire thing and I kid you not, like, I know a lot of people go in the studio, artists play those stuff, and they're like, it's the best thing ever. No, this is very special, man. Like, I really, really felt something listening to this. Um, and he really wanted my feedback throughout, like, every single song, which I thought was really interesting. I just listened to these guys' music on my headphones for fun, but I didn't think I'd be in the studio kind of helping them with the process. I really mean that, too. Like, he really wanted my advice. He was really asking me, like, oh, like, for this song, like, who do you think would make sense on it? and they were throwing out ideas and um, I give them an idea and I don't know if I should say it, but I said for this one song and Joey was just like, yo, he's like, he's like, bro, like, you're right. Like it has to, if that ends up happening, like that would be one of the coolest feelings knowing like I kind of helped make that happen, you know? Yeah, man, I feel like we just kind of like became homies after that too. <laughs> oh, also I didn't mention this, but something Joey said at the end, which I thought was, was so dope was he was like, bro, I just want to let you know that you have put me on to so many cool things ever since I met you and followed your page. And then he started listing certain things. Bro, just hanging out with this dude and knowing that he listens to like a bunch of music that is super new and fresh. Like, bro, this guy was telling me about how he works out and listens to a whole lot of Red and how that hypes him up and, and shit like that. So it's, um, yeah, mad cool, mad cool. All right, guys, so as promised, I am gonna show you all of these new clothes that I just recently got from you guys. Some of the stuff I bought too, so I'll just show it all to you. This jacket, you just saw me wear it in the Tizo Touchdown interview. I cannot vouch for any brand more than AA Spectrum right now. They're based in Asia. They sent me a jacket before, this brown one, and I was like, I need this black one. <laughs> so easy to rock. I love these little like dents. You could take these things and like put them in or take them out. Definitely really fire if you want to layer it. Then this sweater, I just got sent this huge ass box by a brand that's actually based very close to my hometown in Surrey, British Columbia. This entire ass like big box, multiple hats, two, three, what are they called? Busy Design Labs. Tape, send me a mug as well. More shirts, another sweater, all these stickers. This is what I really mess with out of what they sent me. It's like this crew neck, but it's like really cropped. I don't know if that was intentional. Love the knit on it. Yeah, thank you guys for sending this. As far as these go, I know a lot of you guys ask about the pants. I actually thrifted these from this store that's like one of my favorite vintage stores. It's called L Train Vintage. Love the color, love the fit. I think it's so important the way that pants like sit on your shoes or like on your feet. And these are just like perfect. Speaking of the way 
pants sit on shoes, I got these Birkenstocks. I'm not gonna lie, Cole Bennett did inspire me to get these, but I got them in this like white suede color, right? What do you guys think? I just love the way that these look. It's like, doesn't even feel like you're really wearing a shoe. I wouldn't go and buy a bunch of the colors, but this specific one I'm into. Okay, so this next thing I wanna show you actually comes with a letter. This one is from someone named Mohammed Arshan. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm a creator from Atlanta. I wanted to send you this piece from my brand at cursedbytime.us. I respect your work and everything you're doing with KTO and I'm working hard so I know one day we'll cross paths inshallah. Thank you for this, bro. If you guys wanna send stuff, please do send it with a letter. He basically sent me this soccer jersey, half sleeve, which I fuck with very, very heavy. It kind of reminds me of like the PSG jersey. Super tough, I love the design, I love the Arabic writing. I do generally rock with the long sleeve soccer jerseys a bit more, but this one is just so tough that I'm definitely gonna rock it. Next, we're gonna talk about this brand, Esso, Iso, Tarek. Uh, they sent me this t-shirt and a jacket. I honestly do rock a lot of black, you guys know that. If it's the right color scheme like this, it just, it makes so much sense. Here's the back, by the way. But they also sent me this jacket right here. Perfect. I probably wouldn't wear it with these pants just because it's like gray on gray, but you guys get the, the gist of it. Yeah, love this jacket, bro. It's like a bluish greenish gray. Shout out to Esoteric. Okay, this I would have to say is literally the best piece of clothing that anyone has ever sent me. I really don't want to butcher the brand's name. Pretty sure it's Night Lab. I've always wanted an Arcteric jacket, but it was just way too expensive. So when these guys sent me this, I was like, this is better than Arcteric. Hey bro, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this gem of a jacket? This is perfect. Yeah, everything about this jacket is just like fly as hell. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I saw on your guys' site that you have this leather jacket. It's so, so fly. Do you guys wanna send that? Please do, if not, that's all good. It's the back. So I got this jacket sent to me by this brand. I think it's pronounced Aless or Elise. This shit is hard as well. It's definitely gonna keep me warm in this New York winter of like heavy winds. But yeah, no, I like the slight off-white color that it's puffy. Might be one size a little like too big for me. I like things to like, cause I'm kind of folding it right now, otherwise it would be like this. But I think they sent me some shirts as well, but this is something that I'd rock like on the daily. Okay, then I got these pants at the thrift store. I kind of regret it because they're baggy, but they don't sit nice on the shoe. Like, check this out. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? I, I definitely would not rock it with these shoes in the first place because they're both white, but like the fit of them is like, eh, you know, I don't know what I was going for. I think I was thinking like, this is something that Kendra could wear. <laughs> this kind of looks like preppy white boy goes to Columbia University or something. Okay, let's see this as well. I went to this fashion show from this brand called Fugazi, which I feel like a lot of you probably already know. And they gave out these free shirts. It says like irony. It's pretty cool. I opened this box today from this brand called Ryoko Rain, but they sent me this cool little jacket with the skeleton on it. Um, I think it's pretty chill. It's nice. I like the this on the collar, this color. All right, then we got this shirt from my boy Reno. Well, you guys might know this creator from Instagram. I think he's worked for Kanye. I don't even want to like get it wrong, but he's worked with a bunch of artists. This is the shirt that he sent me, but the cool part is like the back. Super hard, right? I think you got Virgil. Uh, Tyler, Chief Keef, Kanye, like Cash Cardi on the bottom. I love what you do. Keep creating dope stuff like this. Here is another creator that sent me a t-shirt. He sent me this really dope t-shirt. I know he does work for Opium. Like he's done work for Destroy Lonely, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, This dude, oh my God, I love this. I know I don't really make use of this properly right now, but it's like a Travis Scott pot, like for plants, I guess. I'm gonna put this dude's at on screen, but I met him at Complex Con and he was a fan of KTO. And he was like, yo, I'm gonna send you this. I'm gonna send you a Young Thug rug, which you guys know I'm in love with the house rugs. But yeah, I'm gonna go get a plant so that I can make use of this. I'm pretty sure that's most of it. I can try to open the rest in a different vlog, but I did get one thing today, which I have to open. I saw the box and I saw a lemonade sun and I'm like, hmm, who could this be from? Bro, shout out to the one and only Cole Bennett of Lyrical Lemonade. If this is what I think it is, then I'm gonna be so happy because I can hear it like, we got some actual Lyrical Lemonade. Shout out to my boy Cole Bennett, man. I love you, bro. One of my biggest inspirations of doing KTO. And we've built a really cool relationship over the past like four or five months where I've asked him for advice. He's asked me for advice on things on his album. So yeah, I will definitely drink one of these at least, but keep the rest as decorations, Cole. But yeah, guys, that is essentially it. I had to switch to my phone because my battery ran out of my camera. Hope you guys enjoyed all of this. 
on the next video is going to be our Tizo touchdown full length interview. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to send stuff, the PO box address is in the description. Um, go comment what you thought of this video, what you thought of the clothes, what you thought of the interviews, and I'm going to be responding to all you guys. So catch you later. Arshan out. KTO. Yeah.